Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Organizers say the dye is vegetable based, it's actually orange until it makes contact with the water, but no one is completely certain, except for the small group in charge of dyeing the river. They do say that the dye is completely harmless, and major environmental groups don't argue. Make your mark, take our lead. Chicago River Dying 2021. Green makes appearance for toned down St. Patrick's Day celebrations. Mayor Lori Lightfoot's office announced early Saturday morning that the Chicago River would be dyed green amid toned down 2021 St. Patrick's Day celebrations. Chicago, WLS, the Chicago River is, once again, glowing green. Make your mark, take our lead. Since 1962, the dyeing of the river has been a tradition, started by representatives of Journeyman Plumbers Local Union 130. The dyeing takes place between Columbus Drive and State Street and usually keeps the normally murky river bright, Kelly Green for a couple of days. Let's help you make your mark. Who could possibly mind a little green dye? Today, however, the river is making a comeback. Thanks to smart policy decisions, such as dam removal and habitat restoration, wildlife is beginning to flourish. The river is home to more than 75 species of fish, as well as beavers, turtles and other wildlife. Take our lead. Floresian dye. The tradition of dyeing the river green arose by accident when plumbers used Floresian dye to trace sources of illegal pollution discharges. The dyeing of the river is still sponsored by the local plumbers union. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.